NASCAR Super Bowl is right around the corner and last year's rookie sensation Trevor Bain will try to do the near impossible win his second straight Daytona 500. Eight sports anchor Yanni Caracas has more from Charlotte. This time last year, you probably had no idea who Trevor Bain was, but that all changed in February when the 20 year old won the Daytona 500. Now the question is, what does he do for an encore? It's over. Cinderella Bain is going to win the Daytona 500. I think my expectations move up a little bit when I finish top 15 in Cup Series, or if I do. You know, now we're a little bit disappointed because we've tasted victory lane and we know what that feels like. Whereas before, I would have been jumping up and down because we finished 15th and beat, you know, 28 other guys that are out there that are really fast. Last year, I went there with no expectations on what would happen. Nobody knew if tandem or pack or what was going to happen, but it was all new. I think that's one advantage that I do have is I, I'm not set in a way yet. Now, the odds are against Bain winning the Daytona 500 in back to back years. The last person to do it was Sterling Marlin in 1995. The odds are against me, but last year it was 300 to 1. So. <laughs> the odds were already against me, so I don't really know that that changes much for me. You know, I think what we did last year and won the race really worked well, so you almost want to go back to that same mindset. You want to go back to what David Pearson told me when he said, hey, you know, you got to make all the laps before you can win the thing. Now, Bain will be driving a nationwide car for Jack Roush. Hear what the longtime owner has to say about Bain's future coming up at 11. At Charlotte Motor Speedway, I'm Yanni Krakis, 8 Sports.